Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where we always watch and learn. This is your tutor, Rojab Mchira, and the lesson today is history. The topic of discussion is development of agriculture. So we get to look at the beginning of agriculture, that is early agriculture. But again, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? So class, we expect that we'll be able to state or name the earliest crops to be domesticated. Now, before we go to that, we must get to know, understand, or rather understand what the term agriculture means. Now, agriculture, this is the art of rearing animals and also cultivating crops. That art of you rearing animals and cultivating crops is what we call agriculture. Now, let us get to look at what are some of these crops that were earlier domesticated or earlier grown. Now, the first crop we get to see there is wheat. Now, wheat is originally, is, is, is believed to have been originally grown in southwest of Asia. And we have got a number of us who have never seen wheat. We have a good image there of wheat. That is wheat. Now, wheat is believed to have originally grown in southwest Asia. That is wheat. Then also another crop that is believed to have, to have been domesticated is barley. Barley is probably the first cereal to be domesticated. It was gr first grown in Muya Bay Bat on the Euphrates. And you know where you, yeah, the Euphrates is? That's the Euphrates uh, River. It was grown along the Euphrates River. That is Bali. You can get to see an image of Bali there. And if, if you clearly get to see, Bali closely looks like wheat, right? So if you're not keen, you might, you, you might um, confuse Bali and wheat. Uh, but that is wheat. So Bali, uh, Bali was grown in the Euphrates River. Then another crop that was domesticated is sorghum and millet, right? So sorghum is originated, or, or rather it originated from the uh, different regions of, of the African continent. That is sorghum. Sorghum is believed to have been originated from the African continent. Can you get to see what sorghum is? That is it. The first image there you see, that is sorghum. And mostly sorghum is, uh, in Kenya, sorghum is mostly grown in the southern part, uh, or rather the, 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 the southern Nyansa. Mostly, that's where you get sorghum. But again, let us get to look at what millet, right? And how millet looks like. But again, one thing we must understand is that finger millet originated from East Africa, right? So the origin of millet is from East Africa, and, uh, and specifically, the finger millet. Remember, we have got types of millet, right? We have the finger millet, that's the finger millet. You can get to see that. That's finger millet. It is believed to have originated from East Africa. Then again, we have rice, another domesticated crop. That is rice. Now, one thing you must understand about rice is that this is the stable food in the Asian continent, right? Now, when you get to see that it is the, Asia, is the, is the stable food from the Asian continent, that tells us that its origin can be dated back to the Asian continent. So it came from the Asia continent. Now, that is rice. That is a rice plantation you can see. And one thing we must know is that rice is uh, grown in, a, in, in wet conditions, or rather, rather in, a, in, in, swampy, in, swampy, in swampy areas. As you can see, it is flooded with water. Uh, with water. That is rice. Let us, get the, let us get to see the final product of rice. Good. That is rice. Now, it is very common with the Asian people. Let us get to look at maize. Maize as a crop again also, which was domesticated and currently which is uh, majorly uh, grown in all the continents. Now, it originated from the Central Africa, sorry, the Central America from the Hukan in Mexico. So Mexico was the first country to domesticate maize. And, uh, and simply, this maize was not for domestic use. It was purposely for livestock. Good? So in Mexico, maize was purposely grown for livestock feeding. So it originated from Central America. As you, as you can see, that is maize, and that is yellow maize. Remember, we have the white maize, and we also we have the, the yellow maize. But in Mexico, it was mostly the, may, the, the yellow maize that was grown. Then also, we have got yams, right? And as a yam is a tuber crop, we must get to know that yam is a tuber crop, and it was also domesticated. Just as rice, yams were grown in swampy areas, meaning a place where there is water, right? That is a yam and it is a tuba, a tuba crop. So class, we have looked at a number, of, uh, a number of crops that were domesticated. We looked at yams, we looked at maize, 
we looked at uh, millet, we looked at yams, right? We looked at barley and also we looked at wheat. Now those are some of the crops that were domesticated by man. Now class, can we get to try this assignment out? What were the earliest crops to be domesticated? We have just stated a few. We have got very many crops that were being domesticated by man or also being grown by man. We have very many of them. So using our reference book, that is Evolving World, History, uh, Evolving World History uh, Form 1, get to state or get to name those other crops that were domesticated by man. As always, this is LMUTV, a station where you get to watch and learn. Always co get, get, get in touch with us. We have got our contact address, our SMS line, our YouTube uh, page where you can watch our live uh, classes, also Facebook page, and also you can uh, tweet us at LMUTV Kenya. Always keep in touch, LMUTV, a station where you get to watch and learn.